Hello fellow gamers, it is I, the Player, and welcome to Shadow Tower. It has been quite a while since I've done one of these Let's Play thingamajigs, but you know, I decided I kind of wanted to do one with what with all the, you know, things going on where we can't leave the house anyway, so I was like, why the hell not? And uh, you may notice if you do not dabble in some of your obscure games, you may notice that a company down at the bottom from software. Yes, and get back here. Who told you you can't? Hello? N no, we're coming. You're coming right back here. You're coming right back here, Tyler. Okay. 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 That's pretty loud right there. It's a, it's, a, it's a little bit. It's a little bit loud. Let me let me turn. Let me let me turn that down a little bit. It's a little bit loud. Okay. But yeah, Shadow Tower. This is a um, spiritual precursor to um, Dark Souls. Well, before this, it was Kingsfield, which is this kind of the same thing as Shadow Tower. And then they made like four Kingsfield games, and then they were like, you know, we also want to make... We kind of want to distance ourselves from Kingsfield, but make basically the exact same game. So we're going to call it Shadow Tower. And uh, before I just kind of started, you know, Googling the Wikipedia page and just reading all that shit, we're going to go... Deep in the forest. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Beside an ancient tower, there was once a town. Nice. What, a, what an upbeat musical score we got. Darkness swallowed all and closed the gate. So darkness is a physical thing in this, alright? What is the meaning of these words? I mean... Seems pretty literal to me. Darkness came again and Zepta was devoured. Zepta? Who the fuck is Zepta? A young warrior came to challenge darkness. He brought a flashlight and everything was fine. Easy. Just bring a lantern and we're good. Man, I'm dude, I'm already killing it with these amazing jokes. It's, it, it's like I never left the Let's Playing scene, isn't it? Uh, Markiplier, watch out. I'm, I'm coming for you. Easy. Yeah, okay, so one thing you'll notice right away is that the loading screen in this game is very quick. Very quick. Like, dude. Sonic 06 is just jealous right now. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this is how the game starts you off. That's it. That is it. This, this is it. This is just how you start the game. Hi, welcome to Shadow Tower. Well, fuck that. Um, wait, hold on. Hold on. By the way, you want to see something really funny? This is what happened to me the very first time I tried to play this game. Because I'm a natural gamer. So what I do is, the first thing I do is I check all the buttons to make sure everything... Oh, I, I swing the sword, cool, and then I did this. <laughs> and that's the end of that game. Let's start a new game. Legitimately? Ironically, this is exactly what happens to me. Oh my god, it actually starts from the beginning. Let's not do that ever again. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're skipping this. I, I, I expected it to have a checkpoint at the beginning, but I guess not. Uh, oh, yeah, this, this, I, you know, coming by from software and Dark Souls Legacy, that is a grandma. That is a f old firekeeper, old hag right there. That's what that is. All right, we're going to be loading again. That was, a, that was a mistake. I was trying to show you my comical death, and then that happened. Oh, my God. All right, let's, let's, let's get up in here and... I don't even know what the fuck. It, you can literally saw, see it fall through the seams of the game. Easy. Okay, so that... Can, can I interact with that? We ain't going there, but... Nah. You know, from... Um, honestly, I was honestly expecting, like, a, a rock to fall on top of me for getting too close to that anyway. But you can also see there's something down there. I don't want to... I don't want to... I want to die. Also, yeah, my character doesn't even understand how to use stairs. But you can see there's something there. So I'm going to assume we're going to be coming back to this room at some point. Uh... Oh, okay, okay. We, we don't even take those steps. We just fall down. Uh, this game has a really weird situation, like a lot of like old first-person games. First, per that makes sense. I don't know why I was why I was arguing with myself there. It just didn't seem proper. But basically, you look up and down with L2 and R2. It's very, very floaty and like gross and awkward, and I don't like it. But we're gonna need to use it a lot because literally the first enemies in the game. I'll show you this. I, I've, I've not played a lot. I've played like literally five minutes to test it out. Human world. Solitary region. Hell yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, whoa, there's three of them. And they spew shit at me. That did not happen the first time around. Okay. All right, we're going in. Okay, we're, we're going in. 
Uh, first of all, these enemies do not fuck around. You actually have to look down to target, to hit them. Oh, the frame rate is great. And then you... Uh, holy shit. Same, uh, similar to Secret of Mana, you can see I have a red bar under my HP. That is not actually a, like, visual representation of my HP bar. That is, like, my stamina gauge, similar to Dark Souls. And the more stamina you have, the more damage your strike will do. I can show this off to you in a second for this. Oh, there's a lot of shit. Cool. One, and then another one without charging up, and I do, like, a zero damage. So you want to charge up your stick. What? What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? I heard... I, I heard things! First-person games just freak me the fuck out, because I don't... I can't see everything! Now we got a helmet. And I know what these are. These are anti finnamons We need one of those, or a couple of those. So now, uh, slogging through the menus, you select, and then equipping. Easy. Easy. Helmet. Yes. Durability. Or Dura is 16. Uh, I like how the fucking items don't even come full. Oh, fucking. Hell yes. Can I have that? I would like. I would like this little thing right there. Thank you. Uh, anybody who knows me knows I'm not a fan of uh, uh, speeders. So that right there is a shitty move game from. Why did you have to do that to me? Like, what the. <laughs> What is with these armor things that literally don't even last for like two seconds? Can I read that? Can I? Hello? What were these slimes doing in here anyway? Like, I always try to think, like, you know, from software does environments of storytelling. They don't know how to write a book, so they just fucking create an entire civilization and make you just, like, think about it yourself. It's a little bit of a, you know, working around the point. But, uh, why would there be, like, this little church or whatever it is, is with, like, a literally a book? Like, somebody had a book here. And it's just a bunch of slimes running around. Okay, calm the fuck down, you. Okay. I, I don't like this. Okay. I, I don't like this. Not a fan. But that's alright. I guess FromSoft doesn't give a shit about me. Ooh, drop some maze. Sir, I need to collect that maze, if that's alright with you. Get the hell away from me. Get the hell away from me. Wow, he timed that perfectly. What a douchebag. All right, all right. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna smack the shit out of you. Let's. Uh, no, that is not a weapon. Where's my? Oh, sorry. My weapon slots are down there. Uh, look at that. look at the strength increase on that weapon. Look at that. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, no. Uh, oh, apparently, uh, apparently, switching items also loads the game. Yeah, that's fine. No, that's fine. Could you imagine if that was still how things? worked these days if you went into dark souls 3 like in a pvp scenario you're like oh god i need to select a different weapon like let me hit right on the d-pad to switch to my weapon and then the game just kind of freezes and loads for like half a second that should be a little bit bothersome oh look at that hello what is you wait actually where was i talking oh it's just the anti-venom i thought the game just froze for a second which is like look at that bottle isn't it neat wouldn't you say my bottle's complete okay we had two anti-venom and one healing potion easy what is this Comrades who failed in your quest, sleep quietly now in your sealed foundation. So either they're talking about really fucked up makeup, or that's just some kind of uh, translation that I do not understand. Uh, do you mean like they're sleeping in coffins? Like, is that what's going on? Like, you just, that didn't seem right to me, but whatever. Was it he, or was it we who sinned, or is it the blood of man itself which is a crime? And now we're talking Bloodborne, I like that. Also, how did you get three lines of dialogue out of this little thing? Don't quite understand, but you know, that's how foreign languages work sometimes. Uh, hello. We're just not gonna go there. <laughs> this is... First-person games need to stop. This is why first-person horror games are, like, the worst thing in the world. Because you just hear audio before you see anything. How do I... St stop. Stop. I miss you. Yeah, see, you may, you, may, you may be able to tell why I have a little bit of a problem with... Huh? 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 I hear a lot, and I don't like it. I may have a problem with these controls. So... What I have to do right here, so, you know, left and right on the D-pad turns you, so it's like tank controls, right? It turns you and then forward and backward makes you walk forward and backwards. Uh, L1 and R1 makes you strafe, 
and L2 makes you look up, R2 makes you look down. And it's all a little bit delayed and kind of wonky. So what I have to do here, right, is strafe my way towards this man and dodge his attacks while also holding up on the D-pad, while also holding L2 and R2 in order to adjust my altitude so I can hit him properly. This game is rough around the edges. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, being completely honest with you, I've been here before, obviously. Five minutes have not yet passed, and I have never seen this bishop before. My uh, eyeballs are not as keen by myself as they are when I'm just randomly walking around smacking bats. I'm going to assume there's monsters inside of these graves, and I don't like it. I'm also having a hard time because I keep wanting to have R2 go up instead of down, but it's the other way around. Uh, hi, can I try? Oh my god, I was joking. I was joking legitimately i didn't try that before what is that i i interact with this one because it was the only one that didn't have a gate around it no actually this one doesn't either so let me put the oh, what the fuck oh huh? what i just got like a meowth coin i forgot what those actually are but the only thing i know them from is meowth you know the little gold coin it has on his face on his head the fuck is that soul pod spirit increases abilities oh so the the, the bishop's soul pod. That makes sense. Yo, but what did I well, what did I get? So there's a bunch of weird options. So we got equip, obviously. Everybody knows equip. Did I get a? Did I get? Did I get yeah, yeah. They get one of these. Nope. We'll figure. We're figuring this out. Don't worry about it. It is magic. I don't have any magic, so there's nothing to equip. That's why it's beeping at me. Um. <clears throat> no. Oh yeah. Let me equip the buckler. Huh. Did you get anything here that I missed? No, what the? What in the heck did I just... Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm, once again, we equipped that buckler, so... What did I get? Arranged items. Long sword, short sword. Okay, I clearly got something, but the game is just gonna... Just gonna withhold this information from me, alright? If anybody knows what I just picked up, just let me know. Because I don't... I don't have any idea. SP. Look at that, we got soul points. I'm, I'm going to assume that's what that's for. We got 19 out of 4,000. I'm going to assume we need that to level up. What is coons? What the heck is a coons? I don't like it. Uh, shield magic, none. I've not actually looked at these yet. Uh, this is the weirdest button in the game. You ready for this? It slowly loads all the equipment you have. And it's like, here you go. This is everything you need to know. This is it. This is your stats. And then you back out. And the game's like, hold on, look at this, look at this old hag, isn't she great? Isn't she neat? Love this Graham. Okay, Gr Graham. <clears throat> Not bad. And then I have a shield, I have a buckler now, look at that. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, I'm gonna just give you guys an idea of the controls. Uh, triangle is the right hand, and uh, square is the left hand. So that's how I'm controlling this. I don't actually know. I think circle is magic. Uh, do I want to go down there? I sincerely doubt it. Because I... Okay! What the fuck was that? I g genuinely got terrified. Like, I... That, okay. 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 <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. You know what? I'm on it. Woo! Door. That. <laughs> yeah, th th there's no. Th there's the coin again. What are you? Uh, okay. It it's an iPod. I don't. I, I don't fuck. It. What is that? Do I want to know? I'm gonna smack it. Okay. Nothing happens. Uh Well, I cannot go back. Because I don't have a ladder or a rope or any kind, so we're just gonna go this way. This should be fine, right? Right? Human world. Cursed region. Oh, I love... I love the cursed regions. Jesus Christ. I want a completely different path on my, like, test run. Then stop the game and decide, yeah, you know what? This is this is good. We can do this. We, I can do this. I can let's play this. And now I fucked myself by going a path I'm not familiar with. Well... This is gonna be fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of it, then please leave a like and a comment, and consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon. If you didn't, hit the dislike button and let me know why. And until next time, game on.